what is alternative project delivery? Well, let's start by contrasting it with the conventional project delivery, which is design, bid, build. And this very familiar and comfortable approach being used by many owners consists of the following steps. An engineer is hired to design the project, produces the design documents that are used for bidding, contractors bid on it, and the low bidder gets the job. Now, owners get a little frustrated with this approach at times because working with the low bidder is not always a very comfortable situation. There may be cost creep and schedule creep. So there's been a, a variety of alternative methods that have been used. One of these commonly used is design build. In this case, the owner produces a description of the project, uh, possibly even a 10% design, indicating what they, the concepts they'd like to see incorporated. But then there's a design competition where alternative designs are submitted, along with a lump sum price. And the owner can then select the best value project, not necessarily the low bidder. And a variation of that, design, build, operate. The contract with a single entity also includes operation of the project for a prolonged period, usually 15, 20 years. Another variation, a single entity also provides financing. So they design, build, operate, and finance the project. Progressive design build is a little different than design build. In this case, the owner makes the selection not based on competitive design, but based on qualifications. The single entity that's hired then develops the design to about, about the 60% level, and then they produce a guaranteed maximum price. And assuming that can be negotiated with the owner, the project continues down that path. If they can't agree on the price, there's an off-ramp where the project is finished using conventional design bid build. Construction manager at risk. In this case, the owner hires a designer and a separate contract with a construction manager who handles the construction aspects. These two entities work together during project design, and again, about 60%, they come up with a guaranteed maximum price. Well, why consider? Why worry about even looking at some of these? Well, there are some potential advantages. One of these that's very important to the owners, we found, is they can select the best value project. They are not necessarily stuck with the low bidder. Sometimes it turns out that the best proposal also has the lowest price, uh, but they're not necessarily bound to the lowest bid. You know a firm price with the design build options right at the start of the job. Conventionally, you've got to go through the design and the bidding process, so it may be a year and a half before you know whether the project's really going to come in within budget or not. With these methods, you know right up front. And if it's the right kind of project, and the method is appropriately applied, you will save time and money, and there's plenty of documentation of that. You know, we've been through a lot of these projects around the country, and we've put a lot of what we've learned into a paper that's on our website, smithculp.com. If you go to the download page, you'll find a paper on alternative delivery methods. And we'd certainly like to talk to you about your project. 